know, <laughs> I've been in a bad, bad mood over the past few weeks. I have a reason, though, why I've been in a bad mood over the last few weeks. You see, I'm the world's greatest athlete. I've done everything there is to do at DCW except for one thing. I have yet to be even considered for the DCW championship. Now, I've won ladder matches. I've won seven cruiserweight championships. I've won three tag team championships. I've done it all at DCW. Everybody at DCW loves me. I am the number one superstar at DCW, yet management still does not give me my title, or even my title shot. And you know what? It's gotten worse now. <laughs> I've gotten screwed in matches now. Just last week, Joey Idol grabbed my tights so he could get a win. He knew he wasn't going to beat me. So he had to pull my tights. Please tell me how that's fair. It's not fair to me or to any of my peeps. So you ask me why I've been in a bad mood? That should answer your questions. Joey Idol, you pulled a fast one on me. But I'm not through with you. I'll have my revenge on you, Joey. And you'll wish to God that you've never stepped in the ring with me, let alone pulled my tights to screw me out of a win. But you know what? The bad mood that I've been in for the past month or two, you know, I saw something this morning that it cheered me up. It made me laugh. It put a smile on my face. Which is hard to do since I'm in this godforsaken country known as America. But I want you people, the fans of DCW, I want you to see this. Because it, I'm still smiling from it. Just take a look. This is Wes Oh My God Blazes' official MySpace page. Can you read that right there? Right there, you see that? You can. So what I'm gonna do is read it for you. It says, "Enjoying life out of jail." <laughs> life out of jail. We'll be back at DCW Saturday for sure. More on the story later. <laughs> life out of jail. Wes went to jail. But yeah, this is the man that DCW wants to be their, their champion. This is the man that the fans want to cheer. A convict? Give me a break. Wes, you're nothing more than scum. You are the epitome of the American. Lazy? Overweight? And now you're a convict. You went to jail. <laughs> My goodness. You're pathetic, Wes. You're pathetic. I can't even believe that DCW management would overlook me. And want to give you a title shot. See, this is the kind of things that I have to deal with at DCW. But you know what? Wes, now that everybody knows the true you, the true you's not the man who dry humps the ring post before he gets in. Wears them $2 Walmart sunglasses and thinks he's cool. That's not cool. You know what? DCW will have no choice but to scratch your name off of any title 
chase from here on out. And that only leaves me, the world's greatest athlete. You see that DCW title, I've had my eyes on that for two years now since I've stepped foot in DCW. And now that Wes has been outed as the criminal that he is, <laughs> there's nobody going to stop me from achieving my goal, from achieving my destiny. I am the next DCW champion. And I'm Canadian, and I'm better than you.